hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know, this is 4F Beauty and you are most welcome. Right, about this time last year, or possibly early part of this year, I did a brand that I wanted to try in 2020. Now, none of us knew what 2020 was actually going to be like. So, Sammy the Sloth Straw says that if you would like to grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and get comfy, I'll tell you exactly how well or not I did and which brands I want to try in 2021. You ready? You comfy? Okay. I'm gonna lean this way slightly so I can put pictures up there. So, I had 2019 I did really well with the list of brands I wanted to try, so much so that towards the end of the year I'd done so many of them, I actually added new ones in that I wanted to try and even did some of those as well. Um, 2020, yeah I didn't do so well. Um, there's my list. You can see that the ones that I definitely wanted to try was uh, Sigil Inspired, which I have got some of her loose palettes and her chinchilla palette has just arrived so that one I can tick. Lethal Cosmetics yes I ordered a, a nine pan palette make it yourself palette from them. Menagerie I didn't get round to doing for a long time this year they weren't shipping at all because the area they were in in America was locked down completely and then when they did open back up again they were no longer shipping to the UK um, so I haven't managed to do Menagerie Shroud Cosmetics, same thing didn't manage to do any of those or JD Glow I didn't manage to do um, I had a few maybes where I'd been tempted by some things that I'd seen but wasn't really sure whether there was going to be, whether it was just going to be a, a one-off of me wanting just that one palette or just that one item. And that was uh, Give Me Glow, Alien Cosmetics and Make Up A Murder. Didn't do any of those. Um, Make Up A Murder changed their uh, loose neon pigment pots from what looked like little poison bottles to effectively what just looked like um, an ordinary pot but the lid was like a blood splatter and well, as soon as they changed it to that I realised that it was actually the poison bottle shape I'd been attracted to rather than the contents because I've actually got quite a few neon pigments anyway so I saved myself a bit of money there and I also said I wanted to try some more VE cosmetics because obviously they've actually given me a discount code as well, BOMBER, that you can use all in caps and I got some of their uh, multi-chrome shades just uh, earlier on this month actually. So I didn't do too well, I did two of the five that I definitely wanted to try 
none of the maybes and did actually manage to try some more of the I'd like to try some more of these so uh, right up until I think it was Christmas Eve day before Christmas Eve we still looked as if we were heading for a no deal Brexit which would have severely impacted my channel because it would have meant that buying from Europe would then have been subject to the same taxes and levies as buying in from America so 20% tax on not just the cost of the item you're buying but the postage as well and then a handling fee on top of that which could be anything from I think the cheapest one I've had was about eight, nine quid and the most expensive was 25 so I was holding fire to decide which sorry I just need to have a wiggle hang on hopefully I cut that out right um, I really didn't know whether I would then be ordering because I thought if I'm going to be ordering from Europe and getting charged the 20% I might as well order from some of the American companies that have got bigger ranges etc. Thankfully a deal went through as I said a couple of days before Christmas uh, not the best deal in the world but they did at least sort out the tariffs thing so hopefully we should still be able to buy stuff from Europe and Europe buy stuff from us without having any additional taxes or tariffs or anything else like that levied onto it. So I have got a list of six brands that I want to try next year. I still want to try Sydney Grace. Yes, they are expensive. And what I'm probably going to end up doing um, is ordering from them and using a, um, a shipping company because they don't offer tracked shipping outside the UK, US. So if anything happens to it, if it didn't turn up or it turned up broken, there'd be no insurance on it, it'd just be a case of tough. Um, whereas if I use a mail forwarding company, obviously there's there's insurance to cover any breakages or losses. Loss, losses? Losses. Um, so I'm probably going to do that and it would make sense then to order from Menagerie as well and then I can combine that postage back to the UK um, because I still want to try Menagerie Cosmetics uh, I want to try Odin's Eye which obviously is European um, I've seen quite a few uh, channels that I follow that have been trying some of their palettes and they look quite nice so I want to try some of theirs 50-50 uh, makeup, I want to give some of their early palettes attracted me a bit and then they released some that I was like mm. but they um, they released like an autumn and a winter palette which I really liked the look of so I might get one, one or both of those to try uh, I want to try Nabla, which we can get in the UK, thankfully. Um, but obviously I believe Nabla's Italian, is it? I love their Poison Garden palette. Oh. Um, and I want to try Unicorn Cosmetics. So, I'm only giving myself six this year because... 2021 I want to try and use more of the palettes that I already own 
Um, I've got palettes here that I've had a couple of months and still haven't filmed with them yet. So I'm not using them until I've filmed with them, which is really frustrating because one of them is the red one, the BH uh, Cherry on Top palette from the, the ice cream set. Um, my BH Halloween one that I bought, I've not used that yet. Um, I got the Equalizer palette, which I filmed with Equalizer 2. But Equalizer 1, which let's be honest, is more the kind of palette you would expect me to pick up, I haven't filmed with yet. Um, and because I liked Made by Mitchell's Feet on the Ground palette so much, and he did a Boxing Day sale, I bought his um, Head in the Clouds. That's Hubby coming in the back door if you're wondering what that is. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few different palettes that I can't even get this one back in the bloody bubble wrap. Come on! I've got quite a few palettes that I've not even used yet because I like to use them first time when I film with them so you get my my honest first impression um, of, of how they actually perform. So I've got the Chinchilla palettes just arrived from um, Sigil that I want to try because I've used their loose products but I haven't tried any of their pressed ones yet. Um, so yeah I've got I've got a lot that I need to play with basically. Um, I've got the Boxy Charm palette that the lovely Shari sent me that I haven't played with yet. Um, so yeah, I'm only going to limit myself to six brands that I want to try in 2021. And you should be seeing a lot more retro reviews from me um, in the, the year coming up. So you're not feeling pressured to keep buying new palettes. Um, what I may try and do is if there is a palette that comes out that really takes off then I'll see if I've got a palette in my collection that's similar to and do some looks with that to show you you don't have to buy this brand new brightly coloured or muted colours or whatever palette because you already own it um, and because I want to play more with my my older palettes um, yeah. and then hopefully I can whittle my collection down and really wow Okay, that's sunlight straight Sorry. in my eyes. Sorry, do apologise. Oh, huh. absolutely blinded by the light. There's a song there somewhere. Thank you. On that note, as I really genuinely can't see right now, um, if you're one of my 4F babies, please double check you're still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing you. But they are leaving my films in your news feed, so it's not obvious you've been unsubbed. Um, this is the point that I normally say, check that your notifications are set to all. Mine got knocked back to personalised on every channel that I had notifications set for. Although at the moment YouTube don't seem to be sending emails anyway, if they do pull their finger out and start sending them again, if you haven't got your notifications set as all, you won't get anything anyway. Uh, past experience has shown me that one. Once you've done that, it would be awesome if you would like to comment in the comments box below. Are there any of these six brands that you've already tried that 
you could recommend certain palettes that you that you think that I would enjoy, be it either the colour scheme or the uh, the way it performs. Uh, because obviously, I think I think I surprised an awful lot of people when I bought Equalizer One, because they're like, but that's not a massively bright or mainly green or purple based palette and I'm confused a lot of people when I first picked that up but I really like the formula um, so if you think there's a, a palette from any of those six brands that I've just mentioned that you feel um, I would enjoy ah babe actually while you're here oh. one of my ferrules has come off can you re-glue re him for me uh, sure. Please. Not with that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Maybe something a little different. Do you want to show them what you've got in your hand? <laughs> I think that'll be taking things a little bit too far. Are you sure? It might work. I'll get you some glue, shall I? Thanks, darling. Just don't sniff glue. It's dangerous. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know if there's any palettes from those companies that you would recommend um, or likewise palettes you think that I really wouldn't like and to avoid getting from them. Um, are there any companies that you really want to try next year that you've seen people use and you think mm, I really want to try that, that looks really good? Let me know. I'd be interested to know exactly where your thoughts are heading. Because obviously that helps me in turn... Let give that a minute dry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give that a minute to dry. That helps me in terms of planning which kind of looks, which sort of colours to play with. Um, when I'm planning my films for next year. So yeah, if there is a specific palette you want me to try that you know I've already got and you've seen me use it once on screen or twice on screen and you want to see me use it again, by all means pop that in the comments. I'm going to try and tailor it as much around what you want next year as I can. Right, my lovelies, as I have said for some considerable time now, grab a drink, grab a snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because then you can watch a few films and just think, oh yeah, when might I see that palette again? And oh, I wish she'd used colours. Mm. 7, 9 and 15 from that palette just let me know It'd be awesome of you and in the meantime as this is probably going to be the last film that I put up in 2020 I'd just like to wish all of you a happy healthy peaceful and prosperous 2021. Love you all. Now remember, stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.